I've been sitting here talking to nobody for the past like five minutes thinking this camera was filming and it wasn't. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Hi everyone! Um, today I'm going to be filming my empties video which I have acquired up for a really long time. I have like a full bag filled with like with a Target bag filled with it and I have them on the floor and like over here. Everywhere I have so many empties to show you guys so I'll try to go through it quickly. But I want to start off with, I have mainly hair products. But like I'm gonna start off with my makeup products. I know most people want to see makeup empties, so let's re grab these over here. I'm gonna start off with my mascaras, and I finished off the Lash Blast Volumed in the orange tube, and I think it's really good for volumizing and for lengthening, at least with my lashes. I know some people don't like these, but I love them. I think they're like a really good, cheap alternative to like high-end mascaras. I love drugstore mascaras, so this is a hit for me. I also loved the Their Rio by Benefit. I love what it did to my lashes, but I hated taking it off because it's so hard and just like, it's so hard to take off. But it's still a really good mascara for like everything. It, like it makes my lashes look amazing. I'm wearing it today, but I have been at school all day long, so they're kind of like deflated in my, uh, deflated, you know, my lashes. But it's still really good. I guess a little sample one I got in like a kit. I also finished up the Lights Camera Lashes um, from Tarte. I got this in a kit for Christmas and it's a sample as well. Um, it's, these uh, samples actually both lasted me a good like three months I feel like. And I mean I got that for Christmas and I've been using it since and it's March now so like four months. So On to primers, I finished up the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer in the original version. It's the silicone based primer, It's I liked it a lot, I plan on buying the full size of this. Oh, I almost dropped it. I also finished up the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is very similar consistency to the Bare Minerals one. Um, they're both silicone based, only this one isn't going to make your like foundation last as long as the Bare Minerals one. But I do think it minimized my pores. But I like this a lot. It was really cheap. It's a good drugstore alternative, I feel like, to um, a high-end primer. I also finished up this teeny teeny tiny sample of the professional my benefit I'd have to get a full size to see how much I actually like using it every day I'll probably get another sample of this eventually try it again and get back to you guys with like a better review of it I also finished up the Revlon Nearly Naked foundation and I'm in the shade Ivory 110 Ivory and I like this stuff a lot and it's very like lightweight on your skin and it gives you not even like, it's like a closer to a dewy finish, but I set mine with a lot of powder because I'm a powder girl. And I think you do need to set this stuff, but I liked it a lot. I thought it was good. And my last makeup y type product is the Hello Flawless XO Benefit Powder Foundation in the shade Never Settle Petal. And I mean, as you can see, I have like a little tiny bit. I probably am still going to use this little tiny bit I have left when I get, I get tanner, but I'm not tan enough anymore. I'm debating up throwing it away because I got it last summer, but um, I don't know. I like I like this a lot actually. This was like really good for mattifying my skin and just like a really non cakey powder foundation. I like it. I use it just sitting powder actually, but I, I did use this when I like go out. Okay, yeah, this is a good powder foundation. I recommend this. It gives you coverage for like a powder, so I liked it a lot. Next, I'm going to be going on to my big bag of hair products, and I actually have more. Okay, no, I'm going to start off with my more recent hair products. These are what I've been, like, finishing up lately. To start off with, I have the L'Oreal Eversleek Sulfree Free Smoothing System Repairing, no, Reparative Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. It looks like this. It's meant for chemically straightened or damaged hair. My hair is not chemically straightened, but I got this when it was extremely damaged by dyeing it. And I wasn't the biggest fan. I like the shampoo, but the conditioner was bad with, like, getting it all over. I don't know. I really like their thickening shampoo, though. The thickening one of this is amazing. This one, I think it's because it's meant for chemically straightened hair, and I didn't know that when I bought it, that it didn't work with my hair because my hair is, like, curly, and, like, it's not... It just it wasn't... I don't know. It wasn't bad, but, like, I had better ones. My next one is the Mark Anthony Repairing Macadamia Oil Sulfide Free Shampoo and Conditioner. And it's in the brown bottle. They have a lot of these like lines of their shampoo and conditioner. And I love this stuff so much. I'm going to repurchase it because it made my hair feel so soft. When I first got this, I hated the conditioner. 
so much but I think it's because like I don't know it wasn't making me feel like um it was like moisturizing my hair and like it was felt like boring and plain and like it wasn't it was still dry but now that I cut all my hair off and I have much healthier hair this stuff makes my hair so soft like it's softer than my Redken or whatever like expensive expensive shampoo this stuff is not that expensive at all it's that you can get it at Ulta I love this stuff so much my next empty is the Top Gainic shampoo enriched with obl Oblifica oil from Russia for thin, brittle, color-treated hair. I have the conditioner as well, but I guess I threw it away and just kept the shampoo. I haven't used this in a really long time, but what I remember, I loved it. Like, I think I remember me, like, being in love with this stuff, because even when I had, like, damaged, damaged hair, it felt so soft when I used this. So I'm probably going to repurchase it soon, because now that I have, like, nicer hair, and, like, healthier hair, I want to see how, how soft it makes my hair now. And I think the smell is really good, too. Let me yeah, the smell is amazing. I love the smell of this stuff. So, again, I recommend it. I'm going to get it again. My next empty is something I'm not repurchasing, and it is the Quenched Sea Mineral Moisture Moisture Shards Deep Treatment from ODX. And it looks like this. The packaging is adorable. Like, look at this shiny. This is the prettiest blue. It's like a pretty shiny blue. But this stuff is like nothing. Like, there's someone outside my window. Ugh. But, like, I put it in my... Okay, you know, with deep... Like, it says deep treatment. It's supposed to make my hair, when I put it in, I'm supposed to feel it. Like, it's supposed to be all soft and, like, luxurious and, like, it's really doing something. I feel like I need a pound of this stuff just to get it all throughout my hair. The smell is disgusting. It's, like, uh, it smells like someone went to the beach, played basketball, and then didn't change his clothes and just sweat out salt water. Like, it just smells like dirty beach. Like, not, because, like, I know some sea salt spray smell like beach, and it smells really good. Like, I I like this smell came from the beach. This smells like dirty beaches. It's disgusting. I hate this stuff so much. It's not even, I still have, like, this much left. Like, I, like, squeezed it out, and it's, like, filled up, like, right here. And I'm probably going to either give this to a friend or just, like, throw it away, because I can't, I can't handle it anymore. I hate it. <laughs> Next, I have the Everstraight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Hydrating Keratin Mask. And it's also from the Organics ODX brand. Um, and this stuff, it, like, I actually have some in here. I thought it was completely empty. It smells really good. It smells like cocoa butter. And um, I like the packaging of it because I think I like these, like, tubs. It didn't straighten, make my hair any straighter. But I didn't really expect it to because, like, I have curly, like, wavy curly hair. But it did make my hair softer. So I didn't, I would repurchase this, I think. I liked it a lot. It was, again, it was also kind of hard to feel it in my hair, though. Like, I didn't, like, feel, like, the, the moisturing happening. But when I, when I shaved, when I shaved, oh my god. When I showered it out, it still felt really good. It felt really good. So, I, this is an okay product. If you're looking for a deep treatment and these are on sale, I'd pick this up and something else I'll show you later. Next, I have my all-time favorite dry shampoo, and it is the Tresemme Fresh Start New formula, no visible residue, volume one is shampoo, da, 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 da. It's, this is great. This stuff is just like, smells not bad at all. You can't see it when you put it in your hair. It's like $3, and you can get coupons for it. You can get it there for like 50 cents if you wanted to. It's so cheap. It lasts, I got this like over summer, and it's almost, like, almost, like last summer. It's almost summer now, and I use it a lot. And so it lasted me a while. Um, I haven't tried the Batiste. Even though everyone loves that stuff, I haven't tried it yet. I plan on trying it though, but I want to get it when it's on sale at Ulta. And this stuff is always on sale, I feel like, like all the time. And it's amazing. Like, I love this stuff. So, I recommend it also if you're trying to get a cheap one. Next, empty, is something I'm not repurchasing, and it is the Jimrick Distinction Silver Plus Asia Shampoo for gray, blonde, bleached, or highlighted hair. It's a purple shampoo, and I got it because it was, like, really purple. Like, I'll put some on my hand. Well, I made a mess. Like, can you see that? How purple that is? It's, like, it's pretty purple. So I was like, okay, it's gonna, it'll, it'll lighten my hair. I'm sure. It's really purple. Like, that means it's, it's gonna work. I can wipe this off first. I was hoping it would lighten my hair, and I saw no difference at all. Like, it was good for like lathering and I saw the purple go in my hair and then when I rinsed it out it wasn't purple anymore. 
but like I don't know I feel like there's better ones out there I know like the shimmer lights or whatever it's called works and it's cheap that stuff it's cheap and it doesn't work so don't buy it it's, I didn't like it. I mean it, I've seen people use it and I've seen it work just didn't work for my hair now I'm gonna go into all the products I haven't used in a while some of them I have but whatever this is not for me but whatever it is the crazy dog baby dog shampoo for puppies and dogs it's just it's the cutest little bottle ever but I finished it up um like yesterday washing my dog and so I was like I can I can put it in there it's cute I liked it it smells like powder not a bad smell I like it next I have two of the Garnier Fruity shampoos and this one is in the, is in the hydro recharge and this is in the pure clean one I prefer the hydro recharge the pure clean I feel I didn't clean enough like I don't know I don't I didn't really like the uh, pure clean one but I did like the hydro recharge it, I thought it was good for my hair they're just shampoos um they're cheap they were fine I guess next I have the herbal essence hydrolicious reconditioning shampoo it's the purple bottle it wasn't bad I like it Next, I have the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Long and Strong Shampoo and Conditioner for longer, faster, strengthens hair, anti-breakage formula, and it's sulfate-free. I think I liked it more because it made my hair feel nice. I had to get this online because they don't sell these in stores for some reason, and so it was not in my store, so I had to get it online at walmart.com. I had a gift card, so I was like, let's get this, because I've been wanting to try it for a while, because back then I was trying to grow my hair out long. See you in this can now it's short, whatever. But I like it a lot. I think it's worth the money. It's not very it's like cheap. They're like maybe six bucks each. They're not expensive. You get them on sale. I like them. Next I have the three minute miracle moist from Ozzy. I love this leaving conditioner. This costs a dollar in some places. Like I can get this for fifty cents with a coupon at Target. It's amazing. It smells really good. I it's like it's a it's a good quality deep conditioning treatment. And I recommend that it's so cheap, you might as well just try it. Like, it's not going to hurt the bank. It's so cheap. Next, I have a Skin to Mitt shaving cream. This isn't bad. It smells good. I only ever buy Skin to Mitt shaving products because, I don't know, I just like a quality brand in my brain. I have one. I have a new one, like the vanilla. It's in the white bottle. I have that on my shower right now. Love this stuff. Next, I have another product that I am just going to throw away because I don't like it. And it is the Aussie Hair, Insur Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. I bought this because I love my 3 Minute, three minute Miracle Leave-In so much. Or 3 Minute Miracle Deep Treatment so much. I love that. Whatever it's called. I love that stuff. So I thought, let's try their Leave-In Conditioner. And I don't even notice when it's in my hair. Like, I spray it and it like, just like, disappears. I don't feel anything. I don't, cause I don't feel the softness. So, um, yeah, I don't notice it the next day either. Like, why did I do that? <laughs> like, even after... I'm like done with my hair and dries. I don't notice this. It doesn't feel softer. It's a waste of money, I think. It's cheap, but not for my hair. Maybe for thinner hair it would look better, but not with mine. Let me bring up the bag into my lap. Next, I have another product that I am just going to throw away. And it is the Nair Hair Remover Lotion and the Baby Oil Scent. I hate this stuff. It burns. I got it because I was tired of shaving, and I was like, I'll just remove it with this. It's terrible. It's disgusting. It smells bad. It's burns. It doesn't work. It did not work for me at all. At all. It didn't work a smidge. And I know boys who use this on their pubic hair and it works. And I'm like, what? I can't use it on my leg hair. I just want to, oh my god, it's terrible. Don't buy that stuff. Next, I have the Skin to Mint Lotion Eye Shaving Cream. I got this for Christmas, I think. I think it was Christmas. I don't know, but I love this stuff. This stuff is great. It's really moisturizing. Um, I don't think it's any better than like the regular shaving cream. They're both good. So it really just depends on preference. Like the regular shaving cream works just as good as this. This stuff works just as good as the regular shaving cream. Like I just threw it on the ground. <laughs> but it's great. If if you like lotions for shaving, that will be good for you. Again, this is another product that I really liked. It is the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil Weightless Healing Dry Oil. And so I would say if you're going to get this organic OGX brand, if I want to get one free, you're probably going to half off, get this and that straightening cream. This is a really good oil that's like not very expensive. It's like 12 bucks maybe, maybe even less than that. I don't remember at all, but it works really well. This is another product I am throwing away. This is the Tropical Breeze Sudden Hair Lightener. 
and um, what does this even smell like? Really like disgusting. Yeah, it smells disgusting. I used to use this every single day in the summertime, like every single day. Back when I was stupid, because <laughs> now I use it, and I'm like, I'm just killing my hair. But this is just bleach in the bottle. It literally says, let sun do the work or bring out highlights faster with a blow dryer. It's not lightening your hair with the sun. It's lightening your hair with heat. It's stripping the color from your hair. This stuff is so bad for your hair. It'll make your hair disgusting. I think it contributed to my nasty hair before and it was so dead. I'm th I might want to give this to a friend. A friend is not going to hurt her hair with this on my watch. I hate it. Next I have a toothpaste because I brush my teeth. <laughs> and this is the Complete Care Arm & Hammer Plus Whitening Baking Soda and Peroxide. And this stuff, I don't usually go for the baking soda brand that tastes it's completely disgusting. Like it, it tastes so bad. I mean, okay, it's bearable. I finished the whole thing. So obviously, it's bearable, but it doesn't taste good. And um, my dad got it for me. Just like it was on sale, I guess. I don't know. I don't care about toothpaste that much. And I finished it off. This is the Body Shop Total Energy Enlivening Body Gel. It's a little sample. Um, I love this stuff. It smells so good. It's just like it smells like citrusy. But I can't use it when I want to use it because citrusy smells, I'm like all for in the summertime. But this stuff will attract sunburn. Like it even says on the label, don't use in sunlight, which is like, what? I want to use you in sunlight. What do you mean? So that kind of sucks. But it smells amazing. I loved it a lot. And my very, very last empty is the facial clay mask chocolate and strawberry, this thingy from Freeman. I love this stuff so much I got the full size and it's in my bathroom and I, f I love it. It smells like chocolate and it feels like chocolate. What does it feel like? Okay, it looks like chocolate, it smells like chocolate, it feels like amazing. I love it. Um, it's really, it's like really cheap as well. I also have their pineapple exfoliating mask that I use all the time. I always use a mask when I go in the shower. Um, or not always, but usually use a mask. So, yeah. That was my empties of this like couple less past couple months I guess. Um, I'm going to be doing this more regularly on like a monthly basis or it can be every two months depending on how much I use up. So next video won't be as much. But I hope you enjoyed and please like and subscribe. My Twitter and my Instagram will be linked down below. So my Tumblr, so please talk to me on there and my friend and follow me and subscribe and I love you and yeah. You're my friend. I'm here. I'm here to talk to you. I want friends. So, <laughs> bye guys!